Hello there and welcome to ZDNet. On this video, we're going to learn how to create drop down lists on Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel actually offers a lot of versatility to keep track of your information. One of them is by creating those drop down lists. These are particularly helpful when you have a limited set of options that you want to be able to choose from on your table. We have this Excel example that shows a list of clients on the left, and we want to add how they want to be contacted, whether email, call, or text on the right. The first thing we do is just select the cells where we want the drop-down list, which in this case, it'll be where the communication preference needs to go. Then we'll go to data and select data validation. The data validation pop-up will appear under allow, we'll select list. In the source field, we're gonna write what we want on the drop-down list, separated only by a comma. In this case, it'll be call, text, email, and not specified. Then we're going to click OK, and our drop-down lists are ready. Every time a cell is selected, a drop-down arrow will appear. You just click on it and select the option that you want to populate the cell with. This option is pretty helpful when someone is, for example, talking on the phone while entering information, and they just can't type things as quickly as just selecting an item from a list. It helps you populate a field quickly. Now, many people do confuse drop-down lists with data filtering, which is another cool option on Excel. Filtering is as simple as just clicking the filter button under data. And it's also very helpful to find different information on a spreadsheet, like on this other example for office deliveries. You can see how we can filter in there by date, courier, or merchant. I hope this video helps you on your journey to create many drop-down lists.